my channel. Today's video is going to be how to maintain a 4.0 during your high school career or senior year, really depends. Ninth grade year, I had straight A's. My 10th grade year, I had straight A's. My 11th grade year, I had straight A's. Well, no, I had all A's and like a B. But my 11th grade year is when I started to take CCP, which is what's needed for high school, but you take college classes instead. Probably 50% I had straight A's. The other 50 I had basically straight A's. Oh, B, I've maintained at least a 4.0 or above. Not bragging, I just really want to help you guys. So I had a, I ended off having a 4.5 or 4.7. Certain classes I know, well I knew that I did not really have to study for. It's just something that I'm kind of like a sponge. My brain was like a sponge and I've just absorbed the knowledge that they're teaching. Certain classes I had to study. So during these studying periods, I will always study for at least an hour at least an hour some people say study for three hours i say the hour was pretty good and i sat somewhere either in my house um at a library that if you don't have a quiet spot in your house staying after school that's always an option most schools let you stay after school for an hour and a half after especially for like extracurriculars and it's good to refresh your mind of the information that was taught to you early on on the day i do not just mean read over and then that's it i mean actually reread your notes and make sure you study either that week that you learn this stuff or the day of so it's nice to study the day of just because it's kind of like okay I've seen this at least multiple times at this point so it's kind of stuck in my mind so studying that week before is just a good refresher for me some people like to study the day before some people like to study the day of I do not say I don't think you should do that because that's kind of a form of cramming and the next tip that I want to give you is taking notes Taking notes, honestly, is the best thing ever. Taking notes will honestly help. So you have time to go home and just study over what you were supposed to be paying attention and learning in class, but you just couldn't. It happens. Not everyone can focus all the time, and I understand. If you don't take notes and it's time to study, you have nothing to study, and nothing's worse than having to use someone else's notes because people are stingy with their notes. Taking notes is another big thing to help you maintain a 4.0, aka all A's. Another thing is attendance. So when I say attendance, I mean actually just taking your butt to school and to class. Yes, we have a day, I'm not gonna lie, I did skip some classes before in my lifetime, sue me. I'm pretty sure some people have before, not, I'm not gonna say everyone skipped a class, but everyone's had a day where they just weren't into it. You know, sometimes just life happens. So I understand where people are coming from, but don't make it a consistent thing. I've seen it constantly during my senior year, during my sophomore year, during my freshman year, during my junior year, where people would just keep on skipping and now they're looking at their grade like, what the heck, like what can I do to bring it up? It's the end of the uh, semester. You can't do anything now. So make sure you go to school, make sure you go to class. Just because you go to school doesn't mean you're going to get an A. You have to actually go to class and you have to pay attention. Going to class is where you get all of the information. And most high schools, they do not always give you the online lecture. That's something colleges normally do, but high school doesn't always do that. So going to class is something that you really should do. Relationships, actual like boyfriend and girlfriend relationships. So when it comes to relationships, Yes, it can be stressful. Yes, you have to work. But do not ever put your relationship before your education. Ever. I don't care how in love you think you are. Because more than likely you're like 15 or 16 and you're not that in love like you, like you think. Chip, or just say, hey, babe, I need to focus on school right now. I know we want to spend time together, but... I need to focus on school, I need to focus on my studies, and we both should do the same thing. Maybe we should just go out and study and do this and this and this together. Make dates or whatever you want to do into study dates. I know it sounds lame, I know it sounds like early 2000s and 90s and stuff that you do, but make that a thing now. Nothing is, nothing is better than having someone that's supportive, that's there and actually likes to do their work with you. Like it's just, it's just a fun atmosphere. Especially if you're helping each other, just, just make sure you have patience when you do stuff like that. Um, maintaining a 4.0 is just 
honestly giving your best and giving your all into your work. Make sure everything that you turn in is something that if the president saw it, he would just be like, hey, full ride right there. Make sure. Make sure you always check over your work. Make sure you always have someone check over your work. Math, you know, math is kind of like self-explanatory or whatever. But when you have papers, make sure you, please, if you use Microsoft, please check, check it. Because sometimes even though you spell check and grammar check, sometimes even though you spell T-W-O right, you meant T-O-O -O or just T-O, they won't correct that sometimes. Check over your work every time you hand it in and make sure you hand in work that is just elite and prestige to you. If you are proud and happy of what you are about, about to hand in into your teacher, then go ahead and hand it in. But if you know deep down, I probably could have tried a little bit harder on this, then maybe next time you should because nothing is worse than just always handing in half work. Nothing. Nobody likes it. If you don't put effort into your work, it shows. You can't fool your teacher. You can't fool anyone. Everyone knows when your work is just terrible. It's like, oh yeah, you have perfect grammar, but this paragraph is like 18 sentences long. Like, come on. You just didn't care at that point. Just, you can't, just try. Because they always say, closed mouth don't get fed. If you don't try, you don't know how you could have done. You don't know what to correct next time. You just, you don't know what to do for next time. So this time, give it all that you have. But next time, be prepared. So that leads me into my last thing. Always be prepared. Whether you're being prepared using notebooks, whether you're being prepared for tests, whether you're being prepared for just field trip, anything. Always be prepared for whatever you're getting yourself into when you're at school. So whether it's just writing utensils or prepare for the next pop quiz, make sure you're always on your P's and Q's. And people always say that, even though it's like, maybe you, don't, you never heard the saying, but always be sure and be ready for the next thing. Even though people say pop quiz, they still tell you. Nowadays, teachers, they are pop quizzes, but they say, hey, I'm going to have a pop quiz. Not going to tell you when, but that's what I'm going to do. Make sure you study. Well, guys, these are just some quick tips that I want to tell you guys about how to main a 4.0. I know it's kind of over and all over the place, but it was just some quick stuff I thought off my head that I always had to make sure I had or some stuff that I failed to do. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope during this upcoming school year that you achieve the goal that you want, which is probably a 4.0 if you're watching this video. See ya! <laughs>